welcome students so in this period we will study about the development of female gametophyte so how female gametophyte develops so in the last period actually i have told you that the megaspore mother cell which is formed in the new cells which is diploid in nature undergoes meiosis type of cell division that is reduction cell division and it produces haploid megaspores that is having n number of chromosome and here diploid means having two n number of chromosomes eh? that is two sets of chromosome here now see here the process starts inside the new cells suppose this is new cells hmm? now any one cell of the new cells hmm, present towards the micropylar end hmm, this cell acts as megaspore mother cell hmm, okay now the megaspore mother cell undergoes meiosis type of reductional cell division and it produces a tetrad linear tetrad of four megaspores so actually tetrad means tetra means four so here four megaspores are formed which are haploid in nature now here out of that four megaspores the up, upper three megaspores degenerate the nice hota the abort hmm? and only one megaspore huh, towards the micropylar end it remains functional and here this is the functional megaspore now this functional megaspore here the nucleus of this functional megaspore undergoes three successive mitotic divisions so called as three successive nuclear mitotic divisions occur in the functional megaspore so this is that functional megaspore see here one nucleus it divides into two due to first mitosis now undergo second mitosis here now these two nuclei they divide by mitosis there is formation of four nucleus this four nuclei again show mitosis third mitosis cell division and there is formation of eight nucleated megaspore like this okay now out of this eight you can observe in the figure four nuclei suppose they are present towards the chalazal end that is the, uh, towards the base of the uh, ovule and four nuclei they are present towards the micropylar end okay now this megaspore in this megaspore out of that four nuclei present towards the chalazal end one nuclei migrate towards the center and here also from the micropylar end out of that four nuclei one nucleus migrate towards the center and here this nucleus is called as diploid nucleus which we have already studied in the last period so this is the diploid nucleus it is also called as polar body now see here the upper three nuclei they, hmm, they form the three antipodal cells towards the chalazalene and here the lower three nuclei hmm, now this out of this lower three nuclei one nucleus it forms the egg huh, central egg and the either side shows synergies so two synergies and one egg in the center so this total structure this group is called as egg apparatus so egg apparatus is having egg in the center and uh, synergies on the either side no doubt in the center diploid nucleus is there or polar body is there and towards the chalazal end there are three antipodals so these are three antipodal cell now see here this is the structure of embryo cell hmm? so there is the question may be asked in the examination sketch and label the embryo cell hmm? similarly sketch and label the anatropous ovule so if you have to draw the embryo cell 
you have to draw only this structure hmm? and each embryo sac you can observe it is seven celled seven cells are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now how many nuclei eight nuclei are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it is seven celled and eight nucleated structure in this way embryo sac is formed inside the nucleus ha jo embryo sac ahe na ha ithe tayar zalele ata hi je ahe na hi apan megaspor mother cell hi purna process complete zale nantar ya char peki ha jo shevat sa megaspor hota ki nahi tyacha mule ha megaspor ki nahi yacha rupantar ya structure madhe zalele manje embryo sac madhe manun ha embryo sac ithe tayar hota kuthe inside the nucleus ale lakshat tumhala condition तशा प्रकारे या ठिकाणी एम्ब्रियो सॅक तयार झाला म्हणजे काय तयार झाला डेव्हलप काय डेव्हलप झाला फीमेल गॅमेटोफाइट हां सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ फीमेल गॅमेटोफाइट ओके एंड हियर दी आई हॅव टोल्ड इन अबाउट द टू सिनर्जिट्स दीस सिनर्जिट्स दे आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज फिलीफॉर्म एपरेटस सिनर्जिट्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज Feely form apparatus. Feely form apparatus. Hmm? Because these synergies they guide the pollen tube. They guide the pollen tube towards the egg. Hmm? And these synergies they have hair like projections they have hair like projections so they are called as filiform apparatus ok so here we complete the development of female gametophyte so see here students so the yellow q may be asked on this topic hmm? the describe the development of female gametophyte same like that of describe the process of male gametophyte ok so i think all of you understand uh, this part ok in the next period we will see about the pollination hmm? ok thanks